Jack live from the Monkey House and on today's show, forget about magic tricks, we're going a step further. We're learning some pet tricks. And right now, it's just a salute to all the animals in the cars of North America listening to today's edition of Live in the Monkey House. This show is for you, pets. Let's meet our next pet trainer for right now. Find out about their trick. Let's go to Texas and meet our next pet trainer. Give it up, you lucky dogs, for Audrey. Hey, Audrey, how are you? Audrey, I'm so glad that you're here to talk to us about your pet training. Now, I'm imagining right now, Audrey, that you probably have a whistle around your neck and a clipboard because you're a trainer. That's what trainers do, right, Audrey? You got a whistle and a clipboard? I do have a whistle, but not around my neck at this time. I um, I own a whistle and I own a clipboard. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah perfect. Fine. Yeah, so you've got every all the tools that you need to be a great trainer. So tell us first, who is the pet that you are training? Bandit. Bandit. Okay, don't tell me. I'm betting Bandit. I bet Bandit is a raccoon. You know, because they look kind of like crooks. They've got those those masks on no, their faces. Bandit. Am I right? Bandit. No, Bandit is a cat. Okay, well, I was close. I think raccoons and cats are, you know, they're kind of similar, sort of. <laughs> I mean, not, not at all, <laughs> but sort of. They've got four hooves, or four paws, I mean. <laughs> I don't think either has hooves. <laughs> all right, save me, Audrey. What are you going to teach Bandit the Cat to do? Have proper bathroom etiquette. The grandma we doesn't have to like, clean her litter box anymore. Wait, this is brilliant. I've got a cat, Fred. And Fred, I... He's, I spent a lot of time cleaning up his litter box, let's just say. Do you have experience with the Bandit the Cat's litter box, Audrey? None whatsoever. But All your grandma does. Things. Oh, yeah, it, it's terrible. We keep ours in the basement. We keep a fan on it. We try to <laughs> recycle the air in the basement as much as we can so the rest of the house doesn't stick up. So wait a minute. You want to train your grandma's cat, Bandit, how to use the toilet, Audrey? Yep. Go. And wash her paws. <laughs> yes! That's the hat trick. All right, so first, do uh, Bandit's business. They're, uh, like, perched on the toilet, which uh, that would just be a sight to behold. And then use toilet paper afterward, too, Audrey. That's part of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, you know, ordinarily when cats are washing their paws, they lick them. Is that what you mean by washing Bandit's paws, or do you mean, like, getting up no, and No, I mean, using... like, turning on the faucet and <laughs> pumping soap into the paw. <laughs> okay, this is great. So you want the tongue completely out of this equation. The cat that can use the toilet and use a, a regular sink and soap apparatus like a person so it leaves the bathroom spotless without any odor or, or uh, rogue uh, pieces of litter or anything in its way. You want this cat to be sparkling clean. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've just been looking online while you were describing this idea. Do you know that there actually is a kit out there that you can purchase to train a cat to use the toilet? <laughs> have you heard of this, Audrey? Yeah. No, I have not. That is so cool. Oh, so here's what it looks like for anyone that hasn't seen this, and I guess you haven't seen this, Audrey. Okay, so imagine uh, the, the lid of the toilet seat is up, but the seat is still down. This is like this weird little cradle thing that slips down over the toilet seat. So it's like a bowl that's full of litter. So you first train the cat to use the litter box uh, while seated on the toilet, but it's a full litter box. And then there are different litter boxes that get smaller and smaller until eventually you just take away the litter box altogether over a series of weeks. But the cat will just keep using that toilet seat so it doesn't need any litter. It just uses the toilet. And apparently you can even train your cat to flush when it's done. So, Audrey, this is not that far-fetched. You could probably do this. Do you think you're a patient enough trainer to train Bandit to do this? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. <laughs> it just, the only downside of this is you're going to have to be present for every time that Bandit has to use the bathroom until Bandit has learned this. So you're going to be spending a lot of time in the bathroom with the cat. Can you stomach that kind of commitment? That's a lot of smell, Audrey. Not only is it a lot of smell, I'm allergic to cats. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is really going south. 
I don't know, maybe, oh boy, how are we going to do this? I, you can, I don't know, cover yourself with uh, I, I'd like a shower curtain, maybe, <laughs> put a little clothespin on your nose. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Well, <laughs> think it over, Audrey. But in the meantime, Audrey. You sneeze and cough a lot. Oh, no. Okay, uh, do you, does anyone in your family scuba dive for fun? I don't know, maybe. Um, what? let me ask my grandmommy who's in the car right now. <laughs> yes, uh, my grandmommy scuba dives. Oh! Oh, oh, there you go! Perfect! Okay, so borrow her scuba equipment, so then you'll have your own self-contained breathing apparatus. Just walk on in there. You'll have the gloves on and everything. You're going to be ready, and I want a picture of this. <laughs> Audrey in full scuba gear, training bandits again to use the toilet. Audience, give it up for Audrey. And let's hear it for the 